Hey guys, head on a spike here with not a custom minifigure today for you, but today I'm going to Wix and Minifigs, Richmond, Virginia. I went to one of these before in Charlottesville, Virginia with Melanie, who is recording this video for me today. Say hi, Melanie. She's not saying hi, she's being shy. But I went there with her and it was awesome. And today I have a whole box of sets and figures in my pocket. And I'm going to see if I can trade them off, get some cool stuff, and uh, get to take some photos and videos inside. All right. Check it out. <coughs> we'll make this last stuff. I'm still kind of new, so just turn that. Nice. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, meet you too. This is a really cool door. Wow. Yeah. Alright, look at all these. We've got some nice heads here. This is the old Hermione head from 2004. This is really interesting to find. See how she's like sleeping? This is when she gets abducted by the mermaid. Uh, that's what she got. Oh, and that's a little vampire, all right? Vamp vampire girl, cool stuff. You don't need to see that. Here's the really big stuff. The good stuff is here. Look at this one. They even got the Aang minifigure. That's super rare from the Avatar. That's very rare. I think that's a custom, though. Some of these are custom, some of them are. Let's Let's see, let's see. 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 Yeah, I haven't heard of some of these big kid bricks, I don't know them. A lot of these are from Clone Army Customs and the Brick Arms, which I do use in my channel. These things I really want. These are the minifigure series, which Melanie is actually really good at finding, but now they're boxes, which means that you can't really figure out who's who anymore, which is very annoying. You have a scale though, you can actually figure out by the weight, which one is which. If we had a scale with us right now, we could do that. I don't have one, which is annoying. But many figure, many superheroes today, who is my inspiration for this channel, actually has a whole database on his channel now, on one of the videos, of which figure weighs what. That's pretty cool. I'm probably going to use that to my own advantage to find the figures that I want, because I really want some of them. That is a UCS Million Falcon right there. Oh, that, that's the towel and Taj Mahal. Those are huge, beautiful sets. Look at that. You can zoom in on Taj Mahal. Yeah, if you want to, you can. I don't know what year that came out. No, they just put a bunch of new Very nice. Alright. These are the real figures. Those are customs. These are the real ones. So we got, we got some Harry Potter figures here. Oh wow, a whole bunch of Harry Potter figures. CMF, whatever. Alright, oh, that's a nice Dumbledore there. 15 bucks for the Dumbledore's only 20. Voldemort's 50, that's pricey. <laughs> You should look at some of these too, because you might find some good stuff. That's not only to my viewers, but also to Melanie who's recording this. You would like a lot of these figures, viewers and Melanie. There's some cool ones. These are mostly CMFs here. Oh, that's a rare thing right there. See that blue box? That is a Bricktober pack. That only came out in Toys R Us before they all closed. That was a while ago. Oh, look. Kelsey, look, they have your Minnie Mouse. There she is. She is $12. We need that one. We're trying to complete all the Disney figures. We need Minnie Mouse. There's only one left, so I better grab her. Uh, let's see. We need Maleficent. Somewhere. Hi, five. 
High five. Five minutes? Oh, that's fine. That's cool. All right, you can cut it. Thank you. Hey guys, now that we are back from the crazy trip to Bricks and Minifigs in Richmond, I figured I might as well catch you up all on everything else that I got before I even went there to show you all the crazy stuff that I got since then. And uh, then I'll show you the stuff that I got from the Bricks and Minifigs in Richmond in addition to the one that I went to in Charlottesville. It was a crazy, crazy weekend and I'll show you all the stuff I got like you see in the thumbnail. And uh, first thing I'm going to start with is I got Agent Callus. Now, this is a figure that I got off of uh, eBay. Uh, pretty good deal. Uh, he's a really, really nice one. I got him because I, I love Agent Callus from Rebels, but also because um, I was thinking of actually making a custom for him. She's got both faces. Uh, got a little Lego logo there. Really nice deal I got him for. It was only like, like 25 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I think it'd be really fun to make a custom of him when he's like in his rebel outfit when he like, you know Turns the tables on the Empire spoiler alert <laughs> uh, So that's why I bought him as because yeah, he's just like a great one to have in addition to the collection with everything else that happens with the rebels I have every single character now except for him. So I really wanted to get him On other news. I also got a Ben Kenobi not exactly an exciting figure, but I did need him for a feature custom you'll be seeing momentarily. I don't need to go into too much detail about him. He was only for like 12 bucks. And then something else crazy that I got off of Bricklink actually is I got a really good deal to get not one, not two, but three of the special, very special Disney figures from that uh, one Disney villains set. So we got Gaston here. And all three of these, like I said, are from Bricklink, and I got all three of them for like, uh, like sixty bucks, sixty bucks, and like the uh, the set they came in was like easily over one hundred and twenty, so I thought that was a really good deal. Again, I really wanted these figures, especially her, for another figure I'm gonna be making pretty soon. You'll get to see, um, a custom. I'm going to use her torso for. So here's like a little sneak peek snippet of uh, what I'm going to do with that character using this character. I'm so happy they finally made a Beauty and the Beast character. Like, I really hope they make more. Like, I, it's astonishing to me that they still haven't made Belle or the Beast. So about like I made a Belle custom on this channel quite a few months ago. Uh, I really love this Gaston. He's, he's a funny looking character. And he's got these great dual molded arms. Uh, very nice. Not dual molded legs, but they still look really great. Um, and then we got the Jafar Genie here, which is also really cool. Didn't get the, uh, lamp, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, it's whatever. I still got the figure, and he looks really cool. I love that uh, face, and this torso would be great for, like, like a Red Hulk, uh, mini figure scale version. So the reason why I want him, because I wanted to maybe make that in the future. So I got those three recently. And then the last thing I got, this is still all pre-Bricks and Minifigs. Um, I got a Clone Lieutenant. Uh, I have one of these already sealed, as you might have seen in another video. Um, from like an A the 4th promo video I did. But I got this one loose because I have all the other ones loose, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have all four troopers, uh, loose together. Because I got like the, the regular one, that's like just like the white generic one. Uh, I got the green one, which is the sergeant. I got the red one, which is the captain. The yellow one, which is the commander. I just wanted to get a lieutenant. I got him for about 30 bucks, which is kind of pricey, but you know, clones are always expensive because everyone loves these guys. And uh, I got him off of Mercury, actually, for about 30 bucks, like I said. Now, we can get into the crazy stuff. Um, so, let's do that. We went to Bricks and Minifigs recently, and I got a whole bunch of pieces. Uh, pieces and parts. I only got one figure from, um, let me show all the pieces I got. <laughs> uh, I got only one figure from there, and I guess I can show you all these pieces first. I found an orange lightsaber blade, which are really hard to find. I think this is actually a different shade of orange than what I 
originally showed in my very first video ever on YouTube. I think that one was like a neon orange, like the old version orange. This is like a light version, light, light, light orange type of uh, color, which looks like what they started making in like 2007, I want to say. And it, like, like you can even compare it to like this little um, wrench I found, which I also think is cool. This is like classic orange, and this is like light version orange. You can e easily tell in, right, right here in the difference, uh, just how different these two colors of orange are. So right there, you can see just how vastly different the uh, first orange light strip that I have is this color as of this wrench, which I found in Bricks and Many Figs. And this new one is obviously not the same shade. So it's kind of cool having two orange lightsabers that are both different shades of orange because it's such a hard color to come by um it's in a few sets but not a whole bunch and they're still kind of hard to find but it breaks mini figs in richmond you can get it for a dollar only which is like a total steal so i bought one for myself and for my best friend <laughs> has some cool plates a yellow battering a yellow daga which is cool little knife uh, some of these I got from the Lego store, these katanas. These heads, though, uh, I got these from Bricks and Minifigs. I like this one. This might be good for customs. I feel like this is one of the dwarves, like Balin or something from The Hobbit. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, this old Princess Leia head, I'm pretty happy to have gotten. I'm definitely going to use her for an important figure later on, which I'll show you once I make her. And I got a uh, Chris Pratt Star Lord head. So. Pretty good stuff, and it's really cool um, armor chest piece. I'm not really sure where that came from, if it's like Nexo Knights or something. But yeah, that's all the stuff there. Oh, I also got these uh, chrome horns, which you could like, put on like the old ninja or samurai helmets. thought that was pretty cool. So now I want to show you the figure I got, which was Kanan Jarrus. Blind Kanan Jarrus, that is. This is a really nice figure. Uh, I'm really on like a rebel's kick right now. He's got no cracks, no like um, hairline cracks on his arms or torsos or anything like that. He's in really mint condition. Um, very cool character, only in one set. The same set as the Grand Admiral Thrawn, actually. So it's really cool. I was actually thinking of maybe making a, another that type of custom with this character, um, potentially at some point in the future. Because uh, I kind of want to like make a Kanan maybe when he still has his regular hair, like from the other version of Kanan, and uh, from like the the first season, and he still has like this torso which I love. This torso is also unique. Everything about this character is unique. This figure, uh, it's very very cool. Here's his legs. So you can see they're also authentic. I didn't bother doing authentic checks with the, the Bricklink figures because everyone knows Bricklink is really good about that, uh, and I already checked them off camera anyway. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is such a cool figure, and I'm really glad I got him as, like, my souvenir from the Richmond Bricks and Minifigs. I think he looks really nice, and really cool to add to the collection. Uh, Melanie and I, on our travels, also got a Disney set, the Disney Train, actually, from Target, and I got a Tinkerbell for the first time. I love this figure. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. These wings, I love these wings. I've wanted a Tinkerbell for years, <laughs> ever since the uh, first Disney Castle came out, because I have Peter Pan and Captain Hook, and I really wanted a Tinkerbell all that time. And I finally have one. She gave her to me, <laughs> along with Moana, who was also exclusive from that set. So that was pretty cool to get her. Uh, pretty special to get her. This is also like a very unique, special character. I love the uh, how the, the shell necklace has a reflective paint. It's very cool. And she's got the molded legs as well, which is also very nice. And uh, she's got two faces. This has, a, she's a, got rubber hair, which I didn't realize at first. This is actual rubber. Um, look at that nice little cute face. Oh my goodness. I think maybe this hair is used for like friends sets, but it's pretty unusual having it for, a, for an actual Lego set. Okay, now we're going to get into some crazy stuff. So... Last story I have to tell you is I found a listing off Facebook Marketplace from a guy who was selling a partial Django Fett Lego minifigure. Okay, now I have a Django Fett Lego minifigure that came out back in like 2002, and I've been searching for it since I was like uh, seven, 
for like seven years, and I didn't get mine until 2009. Mine was in great condition, except he had a horrible crack in his torso on the side. What I found this random Facebook Marketplace guy had is uh, he had a Jenga fed that was a partial figure. He had the helmet, the torso, the arms, and uh, like just a black head. So what happened was I, and he wanted him for 175. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then when I looked uh, at Bricklink, like the on average Jenga fed's about 200. And he's just like a fair condition. And a mint condition Django fed is worth 1,400 something. So what I did was I bought that figure, took his torso, and I added it to my Django fed. And now, if I do say so myself, I think I have a mint condition perfect Django fed Lego minifigure. Um, and he's one of my favorite characters of all time. See, there's no crack there now. Uh, they used to have a big gash on my old one that I used to have, and now he doesn't have that problem anymore, which I'm really happy about. Both sides of the torso are perfect. The uh, print is absolutely flawless. Um, and I already have the old legs from the first one I got. I just got my original Jenga set for $20, $20, $20 with um, Young Boba Fett along with like some other accessories and like some hair for Django. And uh, I look at this print. This print on this helmet is just absolutely flawless. I've never seen one this clean, this perfect. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there he goes. And um, you, you know it's obviously authentic also because uh, it's got the little tube in the middle there, which uh, my other Bruin had. So we know this is a very real very real Django set. It's got a little bit of a lilt <laughs> on the little blue there, but from from far it looks absolutely perfect. I've never seen a better print, like I said before. And my face for Django is actually also in mint condition. There's no like scratches, there's no like paint flaws on it. Uh, it looks really, really clean, really, really nice. So I'm really happy with this Django. Um, Born him for so many years, and uh, I'm really, really grateful to have him in my collection in mint condition. It always was like a really important figure to me to have. Um, I've worn him for so many years. I used to have dreams about this figure. <laughs> like that's how bad I wanted him as a kid, and having him in this type of condition is just really, really nice. It's really lucky, and I'm very grateful to have finally like gotten him like this. So, that all being said, at this point I had two Jenga Fett Lego minifigures. Um, so, I have my perfect one here, but then I had my other one, my older one, which I had in my collection, and uh, I had to rebuild him, get the other parts for him, to finish him off, so then I could sell him to another group of interested buyers. So what I did was I took that other old Django that I had to the Bricks and Mini Figs in Charlottesville, Virginia, and I traded him in. They gave me $175 store credit, which is a lot. And so what I got with that store credit, once I traded them my old Django, all these figures. So now, at 13 minutes and 30 seconds, in, at least that's what it says on my phone, uh, just before I combine this with my other video of the actual thing that Melanie recorded, I can show you all the figures that I got. I'm going to go one by one. So, first thing I did was I got Agatha Harkness. I wanted her so badly. She's from the newest minifigure uh, collectible series, CMF series. Such an amazing figure. <laughs> I love the winking face and the cape is so cool. She even has printing on like the back of her dress and the front. A gorgeous, gorgeous figure. I'm so glad they finally made her. I've wanted her ever since she came out in the WandaVision show. And yes, I have her book as well. The, uh, the Dark Hole book, and it looks really cool. <laughs> a little, like, evil Doctor Strange or something in there. 
or maybe it's like Dormammu, or who even knows. But it looks really cool. I love it. Uh, she was one of my number ones to get for CMF series, along with Beast, who I've been dying to get ever since he came out as well. Uh, I have all the other X-Men characters, including the 2012 Jean Grey Phoenix, San Diego Comic-Con figure. So uh, ever since Beast came out, I really, really wanted him. I um, was really, really happy to get him for free, essentially, with the store credit I got with uh, the Django. So having him with Agatha was really cool. Uh, I really hate this whole boxes thing that they're doing with this series. I really, really hate that. So I was really glad I was able to like just find them and pick them up <laughs> firsthand. And, like, just see them there and grab them. I love his cup, too. His little X-Men cup is hilarious. And then the third CMF I got was Mr. Knight. Actually, no, this is, this is Moon Knight. Mr. Knight's a different character. But, yeah, Moon Knight. <clears throat> I love this character so much. Uh, he looks so cool. I love this printing. It's absolutely gorgeous. He's got two faces, too, which I didn't even know about. I didn't even realize till now. When I'm shooting this video. Um, I don't know why my color's getting all funky. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one, too. I love this printing. Um, oh, it, just, God, it just looks so good. I love, I love yeah, the, the dual molded legs as well. Just get little moons on his feet. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. It's very, very cool. Um, it's got like these two uh, accessories as well. It's a very nice, very nice figure. Absolutely gorgeous printing. Looks like a mummy. I love it. So I was really glad to get all three of those. In addition to the craziest stuff, well, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Another thing I got was a Neimodian. Neimodian warrior dude from uh, 2014. Really old figure, really old character. Had to get something Star Wars because I love Star Wars so much. He's in great condition too. He was only like uh, 15 bucks. Uh, all this I'm showing right now is all of that I got for free just by giving them that one Django. I did also give them an Omega actually. I did do that. And I give them a, 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 a Sugi, a Sugi. So I, I, get, I did give them three figures, I guess, in addition to the Jenga. But the Jenga was obviously the, the biggest draw to them. They were really happy to have gotten that figure to add to their own collection. I think they're going to sell them for like 330 bucks. So whoever goes to that store in Richmond, <laughs> be ready to pay a very pretty price if you want that Jenga that I gave them. I love this uh, character's torso. Look at that. that look at that gorgeous uh, reflective bronze. That's really cool. The only other character that I've seen that has that is like the um, the 2006 Lando Calrissian in disguise from uh, on the sail barge. That's got to reflect on the back too. That's so cool. I just love this character. I think it'd be great for customs. If you guys watched my uh, Montrose figure video review, um from the Bounty Hunter, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter game. Uh, Montrose has a great torso that would probably look really good with this as well. If you didn't have the uh, Lando Calrissian, if you had uh, this Neimodian, I would totally use this if, uh, if I didn't have the uh, Lando torso. This might actually look cooler, actually. And then the second to last figure I got, I got one more. I got the Infinity War Spider-Man in the Spider-Man. Uh, in the Iron Spider costume. I love this figure. I have wanted him ever since he came out. I just never got around to getting him. He's very expensive. He was about sixty dollars um, at uh, at Bricks and Mini Figs. Everything else I forgot to say. Like yeah, he was fifteen. Uh, and then all three CMFs like Moon Knight and uh, Agatha and Beast. They were all only ten bucks. He was sixty. My man Spider Man. He was sixty bucks. Um, great, great figure. Like I said, I never owned him. And this is such like a big part of uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man in that movie and the other ones. Like, uh, it just looks really cool. I love the reflective gold on it. And then the last figure I got, which is a really big surprise, that they even had this, let alone that I even got it, was the OG Riddler. 
Now, he was surprisingly only going for 30 bucks there, which was shocking to me, because he usually goes for about, like, 50 50 or even 70 depending on who you go to. Uh, he's a really, really expensive one. That's why I'm taking the time to show his neck and all that. Um, really old figure, came out in 2006. Uh, in the original Batman wave. Um, like I've told you guys in the past, I'm kind of looking for, uh, I'm, like, I'm collecting all of the OG Batman villains. I just think it'd be a really fun idea to do that. <laughs> so Riddler was definitely on the list. I have a lot of them now. I'm still missing quite a few, though. I'm still missing, uh, like, Bane, who I think came in the same set as Riddler. And I'm missing, uh, oh, I'm Scarecrow. I'm missing Joker and Harley. And, uh... Maybe something else. I think, I think that's about it. But Riddler was definitely on the list. So that is going to do it for this video. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Almost. <laughs> I got one more thing to show. My best friend also bought the um, E-Wing fighter. So he gave me his uh, some of the figures from that, most of them from that. So I can show that off. <laughs> yeah, I got... um. Uh, what's her face? I got her like got her from um, the Mandalorian show, the main bad girl Morgana. That was her name. Got uh, Balin here, which is very cool to get him. Rest in peace, my friend. Uh, he's a great actor, and it's really cool to have this figure to commemorate him with that. And the uh, New Republic astromech droid is a really cool little droid. Love the color, love the, love the printing. And uh, this dude, who's like the, uh, the pilot of that fighter. I love the helmet. The helmet looks really nice. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to this channel if you dig this. And alrighty then. Head on a spike out.